Welcome back to JSA TV live from PTC 23, the newsroom for tech, telecom, and data center professionals. I'm Buffy Harakidis, and we are live uh, from PTC 23 here in sunny Honolulu, Hawaii. And joining me today is Matt Peel, Chief Executive Officer at Crane Data Centers. Matt, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks so much. Glad to be here. Yeah, it's such an honor to have you here. It's your first time, I believe, at PTC? No, I've been here quite a long time. Oh, okay. I've been um, coming, I think, four, about 14 times. So this is, oh. I've, I've been been here many, many times and really love this conference and uh, great to see some old friends and make some new ones as well. So you're a veteran a little uh, bit. of PTC. Uh, but you did have some exciting new news uh, that was launched here, PTC. I believe it was just yesterday about your company entering uh, into the data center industry um, into the Portland market. That's Can right. You talk a little bit more about that. Absolutely. We're really excited about this announcement. We're, we'll be partnering with Principal and uh, bringing new capacity to a market that's really, really exciting. Uh, as I'm sure you know, Portland is growing really quickly and we're really excited about being in that market. Yeah, it sounds super exciting. Uh, we had some custom chocolates uh, from that market delivered by Connie yesterday. So thank you for that. Absolutely. Uh, and some great information uh, coming out of that announcement, that press release here at PTC. Um, but let's let's go back for a second. Why don't you tell viewers a little bit more about Crane? Sure, happy to. Uh, and what makes it so unique? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, there's a few things uh, that really make Crane different. Uh, so most of the folks on our team are industry veterans. We come from the world of customers. And uh, as such, we really bring a customer-centric lens to uh, building and developing and operating data centers. Uh, and so obviously we're really excited about this new project in Portland, uh, really um, bringing a, a lens of sustainability. Uh, I think that's important to everyone and right. uh, we're really passionate about that. And so for this project, uh, we are going to be emphasizing some of the more sustainable elements uh, in um, both the building process as well as the operations of the facility. Yeah, I mean, obviously we're very passionate about sustainability as well. As you can see, uh, we have our greener data movement. Uh, and the Greener Data Directory that we just launched yesterday here at PTC as well. Uh, do you want to talk a little bit more about some of those sustainability initiatives? Yeah, I'd love to. So um, one of the things that we're really passionate about is using renewable energy. Okay. And so uh, in this site, we're actually going to have a an on-site substation that connects to the wholesale power market. Uh, and so customers will be able to access 100% renewable energy, uh, hydro, wind, solar, et cetera. Uh, so that's something that is a, a bit unique. Many of the data centers uh, in that market and others uh, tend not to have on-site substations or, and be able to tap the wholesale power markets. Uh, and we think that's a good thing for customers. We'll also be using recycled water, okay. uh, which is also unique. A lot of times data centers use potable water right. uh, and sometimes that's necessary, of course, but um, we prefer to not make that uh, choice versus, um, and, and er instead, um, you know, utilizing a resource that would otherwise go unused. Uh, and that's great for customers. It'll lower the PUE uh, and lower their, their costs, uh, but also be good for the environment. Yeah, I mean, good for the environment, good for the planet is definitely a key uh, part of what we're doing and definitely such a key part of our industry now. And it's a critical hot topic. So it's really good to hear about all those sustainable initiatives uh, that you're injecting into this new project in Portland. But if we go back to Portland and the market uh, specifically, can you talk a little bit more about what's going on in that market yep. and how this data center will enable and help some of these enterprises and organizations in that market, hyperscalers, I believe as well. Yeah. Uh, talk a little bit more about that. Yeah, no, it's great, happy to. So uh, one of the interesting things about the uh, greater Portland market is that there are large enterprises right. in addition to some of the hyperscalers located there. Uh, and we're really focused on large enterprise. Mm -hmm. uh, they have some unique needs that smaller customers don't have uh, as far as future flexibility, growth in one location. Uh, we want to enable that and be a provider that's very flexible. Uh, so we're really excited about helping customers uh, in a way that uh, is differentiated in, in the market. Yeah. That sounds exciting. Um, and is there anything else that you wanted to add about any other types of companies that could be best served by your data center? Absolutely. So one of the things um, 
you know, with using recycled water for cooling, right. it actually allows more density. So customers that have um, higher uh, density compute applications uh, would be a perfect application uh, to be in our data centers mm -hmm. because we can accommodate those customers. I, of course, that's not for everyone, and um, it just depends on customer need. But we want to be able to serve customers when and where they're at in their, their journey and adopting various technologies. Well, I mean, such exciting news already to start off 2023 for Crane here at PTC uh, with that big announcement. So congratulations on that. So I think that's just maybe like a preview of that's what right. we're going to expect to see. Absolutely. So what's coming up? the road uh, for Crane in 2023. Absolutely, so uh, we have more cities and more sites uh, that are uh, in the pipeline. And okay. so we'll be announcing more sites this year uh, in some other uh, supply constrained markets. Um, we're really excited, of course, uh, about Portland, uh, but we will also wanna serve customers in various geographies, wherever there's a need. And so, um, you know, our our market is obviously booming right now, right. Um, but there's also challenges that come with that, right? So there's supply chain issues, uh, power issues. Um, and the great thing is that uh, we have a team that has experienced those challenges um, from the lens of a customer. So we feel like we are, at, going to try to solve customers uh, when and where uh, they need help. Yeah, so delivering where the need is. That's right. Right, that's, that's great. I mean, important, especially in today's competitive market where there are so many you know, power uh, constraints that's going right. on and supply chain issues. That's right. We're hearing about it all week long here yeah. um, at PTC 23, uh, but on a more positive note yep. uh, where can viewers go to find more about all these exciting initiatives and uh, new data center developments coming up the pike for crane absolutely so best place is to go to our website cranedc.com or to follow us on linkedin uh, uh, we have um, you know some really good material about what we're doing in portland and also future developments so um, love to have people reach out and contact us in either of those places so cranedc.com you got it and if I want or viewers want some of those custom Portland chocolates, uh, who should they reach out to? Please feel free to reach out to me on, on LinkedIn if they don't have my contact information. And uh, we'd, we'll be walking around okay. uh, the conference for um, some of the rest of today and uh, love to uh, tell people about our project and hopefully sample some of the Portland chocolate. Yeah. So if you're here still at PTC, I know the conference is wrapping up. That's right. uh, be sure to find Matt and his team. Uh, and learn more about Crane, the development in Portland, and they have some great custom chocolates as well. Uh, congrats on the launch. Thank you so much. Yes, and uh, I have to get to Portland to uh, to learn more about that data center live and in person. Absolutely. But until then, cranedc.com. You got it. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to another fabulous episode of JSA TV live here from PTC 23. Happy networking. Maloha. Thanks so much.